Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man the foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. We judging bitches again. This is um Pop the Balloon to Find Love, episode seven. Let's get into this, man. You now how we do over here. Let's judge some bitches, y'all. Okay. Josiah Johnson. Welcome to Gills Arena. Is it about underdog? What? What? No. <laughs> you wore that outside? Okay. Okay. That bitch like a mosquito. Why she crunching down and crouching and... You went to your fourth year and got Come on, vehicle man. with Ford Blue Advantage. And you bitches, man. We got to see these. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's right. your host, Arlette, and we are I'm back with another bitch. episode of Pop the Balloon. Look at Love. I like that. And this time around, we've got the ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies. Oh, <laughs> 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 Y'all sound ready. That's good. That's good. So we're about to bring out some single men. They're going to come out one by one. When they come out, uh -oh. if he's your type, you're dress. feeling him, you like what he's saying, all that good stuff, do not it's pop right, your balloon. Right. But yeah, if right. there's anything that he said that you're like, ooh, red flag, mm -mm, this guy's not for me, go ahead and pop it. Then I'll go over to a um, few of you and see what's going on and what you ended up popping. Y'all ready? Yeah. Okay, yeah, thick, and, and let's go ahead and bring out our first and single and guy. Johnny. She look dirty, though. She like Josiah Johnson. We'll see. Hello, welcome in. Boy, look, good okay, guy. That. What's your name? Uh, my name is Theophilus Macy. Theophilus? Theophilus? Yeah. Okay, and Theophilus, how old are you? I'm 29. 29, and what do you do? Um, I'm a chef. Ah! I create artworks and sell it to, and I also make beats. Is that cheap? Oh, okay, nice, nice. That and shirt is nasty. Well, mostly respect, and <coughs> somebody who's more like traditional. Okay. A nigga look like the like final that. boss. For me, I'm mostly raised like a traditional man, but mm -hmm. traveling around. That's what I always look for in a lady. Okay, all right. So we did get some pop balloons. Let's go over to some of these ladies and see what's going on over there, okay? Oh, for sure. <laughs> all right, if we can have Only your one name bitch got and the balloon age. Love. Heaven, I'm 25. Heaven, and Heaven, what do you do? So I'm a designer. Uh, I do digital marketing, and that, that I also corset, am a part-time doily assistant. shirt, ugly. Okay, all right, and now, Heaven, why did you end up popping your balloon? So I'm not intrigued. Mm -hmm. I not intrigued. Wanna, you know. Oh, okay. And what uh, is causing you to She's like, Nivea, don't mess with my not. man. I don't want to go, like, any further. But that's respectful. That's I, respectful. I admit that. You look beautiful. Thank you. And yeah, I respect that, too. Mm -hmm. She can't dress, Thank but you. she, she Let's cute. Let's go on over here. If we can have your name and uh, age. You thought, bitch. I am Ashley. I'm 29. All right. And Ashley, what do you do? I am a model and model coach. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, Just wasn't... It just didn't immediately grab my attention. Okay. That's all. It wasn't really nothing deep. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. You look good, too. Thank they look like T-Pain, little brother. All right. And now, is Ashley someone that's your usual type? Oh, uh, yeah. She's not bad, you know. Mm -hmm. She's sizable. P-Pain. P-Pain. That. That's a nigga named P-Pain. <laughs> all yeah, right. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. If we can have your name and age. I'm Leah. I'm 28. And Leah, what do you do? I'm a labor and delivery registered nurse. Hey, all right. And now you host Gills Arena, bitch. Bun. You like Josiah um, Johnson. I like to be obsessed with my man, and it's not giving obsessed. Mm. Okay. What is it giving? Um, not for me, but for somebody else. <laughs> I respect that. You know, sometimes being obsessed leads to toxicity, so I understand that. Too. Toxicity. <laughs> but yeah, but she's she's good looking on, and I like her swag. She's okay, beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, if we can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Sincere. I'm 27. And Sincera, what do you do? Um, I work in finance and banking. Okay, and now why did you end up popping your balloon? You work in Gotham City. 
He has great energy. I just you like a, believe in a love henchman. at first sight, and I wasn't in love. Oh, you like, like a putty from um, <laughs> all. Was energy? there something like that was Power like, you say like one of the putties? I just know, you know. <laughs> okay. When you know, you know. <laughs> I, I respect it. I like you that flying too. monkey I mean, bitch. With energy part, yeah, my yeah. energy be hitting the roof. Yeah, yeah that's I good. Like that so she part of the blue man group. <laughs> Thank you. The outfit on. She if we can have your name and age. My name is Alexis. I am twenty nine. Nyla Rose. What do you do? Um, I work in the finance industry. Okay. I'm a great I'm a dresser, I ain't <clears throat> <laughs> So why did you end up popping your balloon? He has like cool vibes, but I'm just not um attracted to you. I'm not you ain't attractive. You. Respect that. P-tang. <laughs> you got a you got a nice beautiful vibe to her as well. Thank so you. yeah. Mm-hmm. Respectfully. And now is there toxic, anything though. in particular she that you're not attracted to? His face. Mm. You know, because I don't like to discriminate, if you will, but like, you know, a little shorter. Oh, little yeah. Shorter. But it's not even just that. It's just like I need to like feel oh, like the aura or like gravitate towards you. I'm not gravitating. The shirt ugly as hell. All right. <laughs> so is she your type? Like oh, she might. Yeah, she yeah. is. Oh. I I like tall ladies. Okay. You know. Yeah, but I understand when it comes to the height preference. Mm-hmm. I expect that too it's as well. Much preferred, you know? yeah. I've done it before, but just mm, no, gravitating. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, if we can have your name and age. Angel, twenty three. And Angel, mm-hmm. what do you do? Um, I'm in the Air Force. In the Air Force. <laughs> All right. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, me personally, I just don't like dreads. Mm-hmm. I don't like like the. But you I got like, I don't know the fake those braids. Dreads, right? Hell yeah. Oh, well, you got I'm real surprised. dreads and you got yeah, fake. Yeah, I don't like dreads. Braids. And and I like someone a little taller than me. I'm five five with high heels. So. Uh, I respect the high side, but. With, she don't like dress. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. Nothing's we, wrong with we, you. I we ain't got no wave. We are not in the wave ever no more. I no. did waves. I did braids, and now I'm doing dress. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, I like that. You know, it's okay. I respect that too. Yeah. You know. Okay. And now, how tall are you? Me? I well, say five six. Okay. Yeah. I'm five, you still got a bitch with a balloon yeah, back there, that. so hey, you straight. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Let's go over here. We bitches. can have your name and age. My name is Alexis, and I'm 29. Sharp Alexis, names. what do you do? Uh, I'm a massage therapist. Okay. Now, why did we end up popping a balloon? She got a beak. Um, so I love your aura. I love your vibe. Um, she might just, pick you. I like my men a little bit taller. Okay. So nothing personal. I love your. I love it. I love your aura. All right. Now, is she Alexis like your type? Bizarro Mabers. Yes, she is. Okay, what makes her your type? Well, she got a beautiful smile. She's nice. She got it's a bad red dress. And I like my woman that can represent me when I step out because mm-hmm. I like to look good. Mm-hmm. You just got stuff, the ghetto Power Rangers, all these little colors. You got the I red, the blue, the orange, green. I came the way I can. But, you know, I still make the best of what I can make with. But I respect that, too. She is decent. And all the ladies look good. And I take your points of view really serious. But I like that, too. Thank you. Okay, so we do right. have an unpopped balloon back here. Oh, there we go. She said, I ain't all leaving. Right. We can have that shit's stupid she got on. My name is Sierra Karras, but I go by Sakari. Um, and I'm 30 years old. And Sakari, what do you do? I am a travel nurse, and I also am a brand ambassador for Holistic Wellness. Okay. Holistic okay. Wellness. That's what's and up. now we see your balloon is still unpopped. So what is intriguing you? Why is your balloon still unpopped? Well, initially, just based off looks, like you're not necessarily like a type for me, but I like the fact that you said that you were a chef, and I just like your overall like energy. Hey, so, this bitch come, she came to find yeah, a man. I just to probably like you know ask you a couple more questions and see where it goes. Oh yeah, I'm intrigued. You can ask me. I'll answer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can ask me everything, and I really like that you kept your balloon and. I really like the point that it's not all about the looks, but more like the personality-wise. And I feel like maybe you getting to know me more will show you that, regardless of the height, I can be more than anything else. So I'm maybe. Open for <laughs> maybe. So, so do you have some questions for him? You want to start off with the first question? Sure. So um, you say you're a chef. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a foodie. Cook, cook bitch. <laughs> so what are um, your favorite things to cook? So like for me. Um, I was born in Liberia. I'm African, but I'm also British from my mom's side. Liberia. I can cook anything, but I like my jollof rice. And mm-hmm. I know the Ghanaians be saying they like jollof. The best jollof is from Liberia. Why is all these Africans in, the, in damn but Arizona? I can cook anything. Give me the recipe. And I'm Arizona. I'm telling you, man. Okay. okay. Um, I've been watching this shit, and I keep I'm looking back. Based. Like every so damn body of Africa. Um, we got Liberia. Like, we didn't have well, Uganda, Nigeria, to Liberia. I tried vegan before. Sudan. So when it comes to vegan, yeah, I Congo. Can That's five African nations. You want a vegan recipe. I'll prepare it exactly the way you like it. Okay. But yeah. Alrighty. 
So oh, far that I remember. Do you, do you have any questions for her? Um, not really. No. Nope. I think if if I have any other questions, it'll be something that we get to know personally. And I can ask because yeah, right P-Tang. now she's a beautiful lady, uh-huh. and I can see that she want to explore more, uh-huh. and I'm willing to go there and venture more with her. Okay. So okay. Yeah. let me let me bring you on out here. I'm gonna have to pop. Oh. Uh. Okay. Why are we popping? Oh, it's not expected. Um. It's just the. I mean, I'm just not just what sees to eye. Mm. So you asking me questions and me getting to know you is how I'm gonna connect with you. Mm. So for you to just not ask me anything and just go based off looks, it just. No, it's not ba- being based off looks. It's just like right now in the moment, like the, the questions to pop out is like, it doesn't even really happen spontaneously. I just feel like within, like if we sit down and have questions and uh, sit down to talk to each other more, I feel like that that's when the question can come in. But in this time of right now, it's like there's like a thousand questions, but I don't know which one to pick. It's like you're one in a billion, but then what type of question am I able to present to you? But I respect that, regardless if you pop the balloon <laughs> or not. But I, I understand if you want to still try to taste that jollof, <laughs> I can still make that happen. But I respect that too as well. Oh man, okay, you were so hey, close. Man. You was close, man. You was close. <laughs> that, that's how life goes. <laughs> That's, she can't dress that's, no way. That's how that shit life ugly. Goes. You know, ugly. There's, there's situations sometimes you meet people in life mm-hmm. and you don't know the questions to ask because you're scared to this ask the right questions. This thing right here is blues. Yeah. Like so something you, wanna, you know, take the time, like a little time to marinate mm. and then be able to. She's like a contortionist. Like, you know, that's what like I'm she's saying. Come up out right, of a well, box. Well, you are beautiful all ladies <laughs> and nice. Hopefully all right, you guys find what you're looking for. Yeah. You know, maybe down the line someday you may see me and you get a taste. There's your love rice and stuff like that. All right. Well, All right. Thank you for coming on. Let's give it up for him, ladies. All right, nigga. Get out of here. Let's give it up for him, ladies. The bright ass <laughs> dresses, damn host got on. I put the glasses on. TD Bank grants have actually helped us Bank. build new more going affordable on. housing and actually. Keep All right, come on. <laughs> See the next bitch. All right, let's go ahead and bring next out our nigga. next single guy. Hello, welcome in. Hey. I'll have you hold that. Hello. What's your name? Anybody Marvin. pop yet? Marvin, how old are you? 30 years old. 30, Marvin. okay, and what do you do? So I'm in the Air Force. I am an image consultant, and I also do personal training. Okay, all right, you're a busy man. <laughs> and now, what do you look for in a woman? Um, I mean, similar things, like I like a woman that is also in shape, that likes to value that. Um, has a good head on their shoulders. I know it's kind of vague, but you know, I feel like I kind of sense that vibe rather than. This like nigga boring. Words, okay, all right. Sense. Okay, and what do you like to do for fun? Um, I mean, aside from working out, I like going outdoors. I like hiking. I like traveling, mm-hmm. shopping. Okay. Because I'm an image consultant, so I mean, that's just something that I do. Most all right. Of the time. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so Marvin, as we see here, there are no balloons popped. I just noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can hear it. Yeah, the premise of the show. For a second. Yes. Yeah. So now what's going to happen is I'm actually going to switch it on over to you. If cool. I can have your toothpick. Thank you. I'm going to have you hold that. So for the first round, we ain't get that know, damn it's going to be a little bit tough, but we're just going to have you pop two balloons strictly two. based off of looks. So you can go ahead and pop those two, and then I'll go ahead and ask you, you know, off of their look, what made you pop? Both of the blues. That's the hardest part. Uh-huh. Both of the blue. <laughs> or you can get a little skinny one down there. I know he's going straight to them. Bye. My apologies. Okay, and one Yes. More. And the other one in the blue. Yep. I told you. Okay, let's start right Off here. looks, so y'all. We can got, have your name and age. Y'all officially challenged. Off gate. I'm 27. Okay, I'm going to have you stand right oh, here. My bad. I look like an ant. You're good. <laughs> and, um... Marvin, why did you end up popping her balloon? She's like a love um, bug. Y'all know them little love bugs? If I you're guess, from Florida. I, mean, I know what I'm talking about, shallow. man. Them little, they look like lightning bugs. What she look like? She's like a lightning bug without the lightning. With the outfit. That's really all it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I get you. Yeah. <laughs> we match, though. We do match. <laughs> we yeah. could go out, like, now. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, Marvin. Okay, and now why did you leave your balloon unpopped for Marvin? He's in the Air Force. He likes to travel. I was going to ask him if he had his passport and where he has been, but that's yeah, okay. Passport. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. you have a Let's go on to our next one over here. If we can have you know she looked like her daddy. Angel she like her daddy named Keith. Hey. And now, Marvin, why did we end up popping her daddy playing Angel's in the field. balloon? Um, 
don't know. Just not my type, mm. honestly. Yeah. Okay. And in, yeah. in what way? What makes her not your type? Um, she looked a little husky, a little dark in places. I guess yeah, just didn't catch my attention. But right, she don't um, stand out. Like kind of she don't stand out in that room. Didn't catch my attention. Okay. You should have had on a red dress. Right. Maybe you would have stood and now, out. Angel, why did you leave your balloon unpopped for Marvin? Oh, because I'm in the Air Force too. Really? So I was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Yeah, you look like you. Do. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Small what? world out here, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. She okay. think though. All right. Shit. So we do have a few ladies still left. Did you have a question to go ahead and help you narrow it down? Uh, yeah, actually. Okay. Um, do you guys have children? Okay. So are you holding up the number of children you have? Okay. Two now, children. Is, is that a Barely. deal breaker for you? It is. It is? Okay. So sad. Oh, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, let's just go ahead and go over to some of those ladies. Like <laughs> we can have your name and age. My name is Sierra Karras, but I go by Sakari. I'm, I'm 30 years old. Okay. okay. And Sakari, why did you leave your she balloon on Pop for Marvin? Um, he seems pretty well rounded, um, so I just gave it a shot. Okay. Appreciate mm -hmm. that. <laughs> All right. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm 29. And Ashley, why did you have your balloon unpopped for Marvin? Well, definitely very polished. He said he was an image consultant. He likes to shop. Is that aluminum foil she got on the dress? Kind of that that way. But also intellectually, I feel like he has a good head on his shoulders, and that's something I'm kind of focusing on. Mm -hmm. um, but I ended up popping because still break goes kids, yeah. and I do have children. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fair you got Thank kids. You. Thank you. I want no kids, man. Thank you. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. My name is Leah. I'm 28 years old. And Leah, why did you leave your balloon unpopped? He's very handsome. I love his teeth. I love, I'm a teeth person. Yeah. He has nice <laughs> lips as well. It's very fit. It's giving my type. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And now, is she your type? I know you said the kids are the deal breaker, though, but. Yeah. Okay. All right, girl. <laughs> and then right down over here. Okay. If we can have your name and age. Yes, Alexis. I'm 29. Um, and Alexis, why did you leave your balloon unpopped? Because he's a good-looking gentleman. He seems like he has his head on it, so um, his shoulders. And, she had a real um, beak. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now, Marvin, is she your type as well? Yeah. Okay. I love the dress. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, they red. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we do still have two balloons unpopped. Did you have another question that you wanted to ask the ladies to help us narrow it down? She looks smoke. stupid. I don't, that okay. shit's stupid. Let's go over here. Them ruffles. We can have your name and age. My name is Heaven. I'm 25. Okay. And Heaven, you dress like that shit. Oh my god. No. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Huh. And then let's go down over here. If we can have your name and age. Um, my name is Alexis. I'm 29. All right. And Alexis, to answer his question, do you smoke? No. I have I before? Yes. But do I know? Okay. Cool. Cool, man. All right, ladies, do you guys have a question for him? All right, so like, what's a few like important, your most important characteristics? Dude, eyelashes is crazy. I would say level headed, so you know, it's just like caterpillars, man. You don't jump to conclusions, you're able to actually have, um, like, if we have disagreements, we can actually go over those disagreements and not just be at each other's throat. I think that's a big thing. Who is this nigga? Um, D'Angelo Russell, so he look like, like D Lo, yeah, yeah, the Lakers. Ooh. That was perfect. Okay. I'm not supposed to use me. But, you know, I would say, like, communication and comprehension, though, because a person can't communicate with you and not understand you. So you have to be able to understand and communicate. But, See? Yeah. Speak up, bitch. Okay. All right. Let's go down over here. We'll be back for you, girl. <laughs> okay. Did, Heaven, did you have a question for Marvin? What's your relationship with God? Um, I do not have a relationship with God. I That's would say up? that, because, I mean, are you Christian? I'm assuming. Yes. Or? You are Christian? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm not Christian, but I do explore different religions, but I'm not attached to one. If okay. That's what you yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I took your toothpick, didn't I? <laughs> okay, and now why did we end up popping? That's very important to me. That's there, up okay. there. Fair you wouldn't dress like that if you was worried about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you'll make him look kind of black. Huh? <laughs> All right, Alexis. You the last bitch. I heard you say a little something when he said he doesn't have a relationship with God. Is that something that's a problem for you? It's very important because, like, he's the one who leads the way. But I will say, though, like, 
I can't make you believe in God like that. Has right. to, like you have to find him on your own. But like having the conversations, eventually you if it happens, you, you know, it'll voice. probably work. If not, you know, <clears throat> I can't like force you to have a relationship. That's between you and God. Yeah, black and mild like, throat. It's important. Okay. Is it a deal breaker for you? Oh Jesus! Uh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> only, only just because. <sighs> Jesus took hey, you, you out, my nigga. To, you gotta stick to your roots, all right? Baby, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hey, hey, do your thing. You can't. <laughs> it's all good. So you said you it's explore. What what does that mean? Um, so like this month for instance, so right now Ramadan's being celebrated. Okay. Um and so that's something that I've been looking into because I do like the idea of fasting from different things that uh um, you a follower that's just aren't good for you, nigga, you know. Man. So I don't necessarily have an attachment to any religion. Up, if it has something that I guess um, that I vibe with, then uh-huh. I'll do it. Okay. You know, but so you're yeah. not like against. I love you. you uh, I will say with Christianity. So I grew up Christian, mm-hmm. and I went to a Catholic school, but it was really rough for me. So I think it's kind of like a childhood kind of thing. So that's why I'm not really gravitating. You can be traumatized because by religion. Kid, Ain't no wrong with that. Hey. You know? Well, you know what? Me popping a balloon, that probably was my fault because I probably should have engaged more. Mm. Um, Sorry. Because my father's side, like majority is Muslim. Okay. And they're going through Ramadan right now. I've actually like studied it and I have a Quran as well. But You could have taught me. You know, to touch a little <laughs> razzle dazzle, but you know, it's, it's not over. <laughs> but I just, I just want to, you know, make sure that like you, you have to understand that he is the way and the only way. Mm-hmm. That's it. Okay. What is this? So, with him being open. No, the way. What is this? The, the Mandalorian? Shut up, bitch. Been minded to that. Is that still something that's a deal breaker for you? I think we can have an open conversation. Oh, Are we getting that balloon back? Freaking give me a balloon back. Who is this spider beside her? <laughs> Let me give you that. Let me bring you up here. Let's come up here. Ah! Come on, show that. Show that thing. Let me see the green dress. Yeah. I'll have you stand right here. Yeah, she's tall. There you go. <laughs> all right. So Marvin says she is open minded to it. Did you all have any final she questions for dirty. one another before we determine if this is a yes? No? I think I'm, I'm willing to you you know, get to them a little bit. Okay. Mm-hmm. So is it going to be a yes for you for him? She ain't got no tattoos. I would say he already yes. Okay. Yes for you for her. kind of small. Yeah. We got a match. Okay, okay. All right. I'll take this mic and you guys can go on up. Hey. Bitch, you bitch. This is what's up. Hey, go. Hey. Hi, we're hey. Visible, the wireless company that makes things invisible. visible. Get a one-line plan with unlimited data, power. All right, let's go ahead and bring right. out our next single guy. See the next nigga. Come on. Have you take this? Oh, Lord. Welcome in. What's your name? My name is Maurice. Maurice? Yeah, but I go by poet. By poet? Yeah. Okay, how old are you? 25. 25. This is kind of zesty. Uh, I make music full time. I'm a model. I also do videography. Mm -hmm. And I also, what is it called? I do traveling full time too. Okay, all right. And now, poet, what do you look for in a woman? Um, Someone that is. Everybody a model. Everybody a singer. um, a, a person who's intelligent that understands what they want. Mm-hmm. Don't know why we're getting the post uh, office no someone more. Someone that has a connection with God. Um, he heard somebody say that shit. Traveling. Do that God shit. Matter of fact, that actually really has a purpose too. Okay. That actually cares about life as well. He got no okay. skinny jeans. Okay. So we did get a we'll pop play for Austin Let's Pete go on over there and on. see what's going on. Okay. <laughs> All right, if we can have your name and age. Your swag's yes. off. Alexis, swag sauce. I'm 29. <laughs> All right, Alexis, why did you end up popping your balloon? You know, you're a very handsome gentleman. I love the fit. I love your energy as well. Um, this sweater jacket, ugly just shit. Just physically not my type. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, and physically, um, what is your usual type and what, is, what does he fall into? Um, athletic. Okay. Mm-hmm. He a meatball. <laughs> is Alexis your type? Um, I, I, don't, I don't really know, to be honest. Like, I, I mostly go with energy, so. Um, this nigga gay. Though. The athletic thing, no, I am athletic. I've done, I did three different types of sports in high school. Oh, high school. Okay. Mm-hmm. I like that. 
That's high school. That. I played everything right. in high school, I like too. That. All right. Okay. Thank you. Let's go on down over here. We did get a pop I'm fat balloon. now. <laughs> you can have your name and age. My name is Heaven. I'm 25. And Heaven, why did you end up popping your balloon? You're very well spoken. You are attractive. It's just I don't feel like we would be a connection. You kind of soft, nigga. What makes you feel that way? Sorry. You soft. Just off of, based off of just attraction level. Okay. He's like soft. He's okay. meek. All right. mm-hmm. And now, poet, is she your type? Um, respectfully, no. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Respectfully. Um, Don't let that blotchy makeup. Oh, my fault. <laughs> Maybe, I guess, just a tiny bit too much makeup. If you boom, just come as you are. Then that's perfect. Yes. See? Okay. Mm-hmm. I peeped that shit right. too, my nigga. Okay, so we do still have five balloons unpopped. Hey. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. So I'm going to have you hold this. Wow. And okay. did you have a question for the ladies to help you narrow we'll it down? Get the mosquito out of here. <sighs> Dang. Well, um, what is like a purpose that you have inside of your purpose? Come on, do? man. All right, let's start right you over here. Give me asking life and death questions. Your name, age, to, and the answer to this question. My name is Sakari. I'm 30. Um, a purpose. I mean, I feel like I ain't got no purpose. That's a good question. <laughs> and I'm 41. <laughs> to inspire Take others. Take care of my kids, and my family. To That's it. touch others in some my sort of way. I think purpose. my purpose here in life is literally to make someone else's life a dumbass question better it advanced more just mm-hmm. yeah okay mm-hmm. name and age and the answer to his question my name is ashley i'm 29 and um honestly i've experienced a lot i've done a lot i've tried to look good at aids on maury and i just feel like what i've experienced what Oprah, is back in the days to inspire and teach other she young just passed away too because I have a lot of brothers so really you know. this year. um Which so she really I truly girl. think my purpose here is to explain a more wisdom filled way of experiencing life okay. yeah okay that's cool okay. eating the kids <laughs> gummy like worms cool. gummy bears okay name age and answer this question uh, my name is Leah I'm 28 years old um well I'm currently at L&D RN and I want to become a midwife, and I really midwife. want to serve the black community um, mm-hmm. because I see how they get treated in the they? healthcare system, and it's just not giving. Mm-hmm. And I want to be the one that is giving, and that's mm-hmm. one. Of mean, my they? What are you? I like that. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Name, age, and the answer to this question. Mosquito. My name is Sinceri. I'm 27. Mm-hmm. Um, I think my life's purpose is to give off good energy you a good mm-hmm. smile. sometimes there's like people that nose. intentionally are put on this earth to drain you mm-hmm. that are just like vampires that suck the energy she's like no malice and from the clips i just feel like i can transfer that to people so they're always patty happy. cake patty okay. cake bakers man all right name age and the answer to this question my name is angel i'm 23 um i'm currently in the military mm-hmm. so i feel like my purpose is what i'm doing right now to serve your country you know um, I would like I'm to be uh, OBYGN. Mm. I would like to help like deliver babies or work okay. with children. I love kids. Children. You know, help mm. with kids that might be in a foster home or something like that. You know, just give them a place to stay Respectful or boy. you know whatever I can to like help out in the community or whatever. Okay, that's what he gonna go for. He go for some dark skin. All right, poet. Those are some good answers. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. He so, light skin. Whose balloon are you popping based off of what you've heard? How many am I popping? Um, let's go ahead and pop have you pop one. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know it's hard. I mean, based off the the answer, because mm-hmm. I do really care about, um, like, for me, like, I, I make Come music, on, nigga. so mm-hmm. I want to genuinely, I want to change, like, the world and actually have an impact that can actually do something. Mm-hmm. So, uh, okay, there's, there's probably one I got to pop. Yeah, <laughs> go for it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> How do you Look. do that? Her okay. balloon was ashy. She ended up popping this one because. I guess the answer, and more likely, because I skinny. mean, I guess for being. She had a good smile just though. Spreading good energy is to be like a natural brown thing. sugar. And the one thing that I kind of so do with my music, I really. 
Brown I don't know, sugar. I want to be able to Feel impact like people past knew. just the basics. You know? I say, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And now, why did you, you have remember that commercial for Poet? That Pepsi commercial in the Mosquito was saying. calming. And I'm big on energy. Well, like. From the moment he walked in, like I just felt calm, mm-hmm. and I like to be at peace. She's a nice girl, and man. And I feel like I could just like be under you all day. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank okay. you. <laughs> okay, You're ladies. Good, does any one of you have a question for him? You better take the ones that want you, nigga. Just because you've mentioned music more than your other things mm-hmm. that you've mentioned, what kind of music do you make? Um, like well, what genre, what type of thing do you make? It'll be some about? bullshit, some soft okay. shit. Um, I'm kind of like multifaceted, so I want to be able to do, well, right now I actually do R&B, hip hop, so like I try to get into consciousness as poet. much as possible. Mm-hmm. I mostly share the way how I feel through my music. Why you sound like and Maya Angelou? The way that the world is, I like to be able to really Dude, spread awareness about the, how things are actually really going because Some nowadays like, like we talk about like different type of wars and different stuff that's going mm-hmm. on like it's just another day but the it's earring nasty, as valuable you know? as this moment right here so i guess i like introspective emotional hold chest connections when they talk. you know i like that's what i like in some of my music okay. zesty mm-hmm. that's all i have just <laughs> computing zest fest, anyone man. else anyone else all right, so poet looks like they don't have any questions. What? Uh, yeah. You should have at least one. Come on. You should have at least one. All right. So, do you have any kids or uh, no. anything like that? Okay. I have no kids. No, no kids. All right. Oh, we got a question right over here. Mm-hmm. So, what is does the jewelry that mm-hmm. you wear like in your ear or mm-hmm. um, in your hair mean anything, or is it just kind of like aesthetic? Um, no, I'm like a, I'm more of a, like a spiritually in tune person. So like, I like to express how my soul is through like my aesthetic as like who I am, you know? Okay, skinny so jeans. what do you mean by spiritual? Like, what is that? So like, I care about having a personal connection with God okay. and I don't, uh, I like to pursue him personally. Why the hell looking at him like that? Instead of having to have outside influence. I was doing that when I was a younger kid, but I like to actually have like my personal in depth, like connection with them. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I like the henna though. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, and now, what made you ask that question? Are you a religious person, or are you also spiritual? I, I'm more, I guess, on the religious side. But mm-hmm. I understand you when you say that you, you know, you need to be kind of connected with God. Mm-hmm. This bitch um, boring me. I guess, like, this is probably going to be a deal breaker because you just, like, associated, like, your jewelry, like, you know, with God. And no, I it's just my don't. Personal, it's my personal expression. So my personal expression, God made every person inside of his likeness. And so my personal expression and my spirituality, it, I'm showing my spirit through who I am as a person. Pop. Okay. This I, just just sound don't I mean, at the end it. of the day, you can have, I don't like go against any other person's religion i fully support whatever you guys are doing i just like to have a personal connection (laughs) shut up nigga so you said i'm sorry hold on so you said that was a deal breaker for you i just i just don't i just don't understand it i'm trying to like correlate like just think about it. You got it. <laughs> yeah, let me ponder on it. Okay. <laughs> balloon, bitch. All right, you and Ashley, you said you had a question. Um, I mean, only because a relationship with God is something that's important for me, too. Mm-hmm. So, now, important now this is where you get a little bit more in depth. Because mm-hmm. there's God, but God is God to whoever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, like, do you, is, objective. is it Jesus Christ? Or me? is it just, you know, the <gasps> gods of Y'all killing me with this, this God world. complex. Um... What it is God shit? I'm the type of person that I don't like to push upon a name or anything. If I don't know anything, and then at the same time, if I don't know the, like, I like to go into backgrounds. I like to learn about different backgrounds of mm-hmm. different religions. And the way that some of them are actually based upon, i rather have a connection that's solely, he will speak to me, he will mm-hmm. show me how, you know? Okay. 
Mm-hmm. I am going to have to pop. Okay. I do respect that entirely. No, that's completely cool. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. So why do we end up popping? Um, I think you're very calming. I kind of want you to put me to sleep because your voice <laughs> is just very soothing. And I love that. I think mm-hmm. you're handsome. But um, I'm on my own journey mm-hmm. um, with God currently mm-hmm. and God only, nobody else. So the mm-hmm. fact that you kind of said otherwise what? What was just not for me. What do you mean by that, though? Because you were more so like, um, I just kind of dip into different religions. Like, I'm not dipping into no, anything. No, I learn about different religions. That's how I actually got to the place that I am you right now. You soft, nigga. I learn about different religions, and I've taken on the actual, like, identity of trying to get to know him himself. That's it. No one else. I don't need to do all that uh, dipping and diving into different things. You too handsy. You too handsy. Okay, thank you. Some your voice. You talking to bitches. <laughs> Why did we end up popping? From the world of Sonic the Hedgehog, is there anyone stronger? No. Tougher? No. Hungrier? No. <laughs> um, because yeah, I'm really big on God. Yeah. I'm really oh big on the Lord. I was raised up in the church. I sung mm-hmm. in the choir. I praised dance. So yeah. when you you your that makeup, you don't even learn how your damn look Like, I respect it by all means. Everybody black has their hell. own, you know, right who they here. serve. But mm-hmm. me personally, I serve You like God. Carl. I serve one, too. Uncle T. Look, trust Amen. me. At the, end of, at the end of the day, I don't, like like, I don't shame anybody. I don't have, right. I don't, like, have no static against anything that anyone else believes. Hey. What I believe is there's a lot of different things that has happened within different type of religions. And Speak up, nigga. to have real respect to the true God, I, I want to like have you. that connection with him. That's I understand. it. And I know that I'm not going to cap. For me to be put out off a of religion is crazy. <laughs> Listen, because that's the thing. Cool you have I mean, to like, understand, I though. Understand, I know. I completely understand it, but it's the one thing is the fucking I Bible show belt? respect to hey, other people's right. religions. And right. I actually show respect to the fact of you do whatever. Right. feels great to you but at the end of the day i have my connection with the higher power so i understand what is really going to pull me forward you feel me? i understand that and you're so sweet mm-hmm. like you're so he is calm he's very calm but i'm from i'm from georgia and no, in the that. south that's where i was raised up mm-hmm. so it's like religion is a big that's why i feel like she needs she needs she got like, so, like I, you know I really i'm not perfect I, no 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 trust me I'm, I'm far from perfect as well and right. i guess I'm real close to it. I guess the one thing that I don't have, I guess, the the type of words to be able to put upon against this situation mm-hmm. is just more of the fact that I respect and acknowledge and at the same time give the grace and me. respect on, to bitch. what people believe in. I understand. What I'm saying is this. Throughout every person's perspective inside of how I feel about how, like, I have with my connection with how you guys think it's at the end of the day i really do take your time it's okay no i'm just saying I don't like, for time. Me, it's, it's really up. personal because like i've went, i literally have like went through the dirt and mud and my whole life has been up down i've and in a way not to be too truthful or anything mm-hmm. i've been homeless for like six years mm-hmm. like i've went through so much trials and tribulations and the connections that i've made i went through different churches i went through mm-hmm. different type of religions to try to find out a way how to be able to come back and actually understand certain things and the one thing is i feel like god has had a time to be able to talk to me and tell me Just the one thing you should do is stop I, worrying about, what, about this, how bro. you're getting to him I, I just to speak to him in general i got to do it i got to do it i had to go skip him bro all right let's go ahead and all bring right. out our next single guy Hello, welcome in. I'll have you take this. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's your name? Cedric. What was that? Cedric. Cedric, how old Cedric. are you? Cedric. I just turned 31. 31, okay. Yeah. And what do you do? I'm a sports agent and I work in sports media. Okay, sports all right. Agent. And now what do you look for in a woman? Um, Just good qualities, um, you know, high value woman. You pretty under, much. Um, underbite. Like, as long as she can clean, pretty much. Um, <laughs> everything else I can pretty okay. much manage. All right. Cool. So we did get a pop balloon. Let's go on over there and see what's going yeah, on. Mold on okay. his neck. They ain't seen that yet. <laughs> no, he walked. All right. If we can have your name, him. age, and hey. why you ended up popping your balloon. They finna get rid of his neck. It's just um. The shirt ugly as hell I, too. I was just not attracted. I'm sorry. Respect. I think my mom has a pants and right there back in the nineties. In specific. Mm-mm. It's just 
No, oh, don't no. see it. I just wasn't trying. That nigga look like. Respect. <laughs> All right, and now is she your type? Abraham Lincoln. Uh, you, what you looking back <laughs> at? <laughs> hey, boy, look. <laughs> Man. What? What does that mean? What does that Man. mean? I'm just saying, like. Oh, sorry. Like. Are you attracted to me? You are, huh? Yeah, it seems like you're. No, you cool. Like it's uh, you ain't. Like, you don't look bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's a yes or no question. Are you attracted or you are not? No, you you cool. Like I would like I would talk to you, but like I wouldn't take like serious. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I was on YouTube. Respect. So respect. Right, respect. All right, please. <laughs> don't take you serious. Right, let's go right over here. If we can right. have your name, age, and why you ended up popping. Um, I'm Leah. I'm 28. Um. The fact that you kind of just told her that you'll talk to her, but you want to take her serious, it's like, it's kind of like your agenda is not very clear. Mm -hmm. And I want somebody who's clear about me. Respect. <laughs> All right, and now is she your type? Yeah. Okay. What makes her your type? And she look good. All she right. look nice. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Okay, yeah, I... your name, age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Sakari, I'm 30. And um, yeah, it was just the, you know, you you looked straight behind. That that was the first thing. And you was just like, um, <laughs> that was it. That that was it. Respect. Yeah. Just That's respect. too physical. Okay. Yeah. That's respect. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and now is she your type? Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. Okay, so what makes her your type? I mean she look good, like <laughs> she look nice. Yeah, no, nah, respect. No, nah, she look nice. For real. Real talk. Yeah. I appreciate it. The shirt ugly as hell he got. All him. right. So Cedric, we yeah. do still Ooh. have three unpopped balloons. Okay. Did you have a question to ask the ladies? Nigga like Jimmy down? Butler. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, um. Y'all got kids? Y'all got kids? Yes. All three of y'all? All three. Okay. How many kids y'all got? Okay, just start right here. Yeah. You the next bug. All right, if we can she have your name, age, and blue. the answer to this question. I'm Ashley, 29, I have two. You got two kids? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> she got two kids? How many kids you got? She ain't no two All right, kids. hold on, hold on. <laughs> we can have your name, <laughs> age, and the answer to this question. My name is Sinceri, I'm 27, I have one kid. Why okay. are you looking at my... I'm just, I'm, I'm looking. He's analyzing. He's analyzing. <laughs> I'm looking. He's scanning. All right. If we can have your name, age, and the answer to this question. My name is Alexis. I'm 29, and I have two kids. Okay. Okay, and now, Cedric, are kids a, a deal breaker for you? No, nah, I'm just, you know, I'm just asking. Okay. I'm asking you know what I'm <laughs> so do you have any kids? Yeah, I got one. He has one kid. Yeah, I got one, you know. <laughs> I'm just asking the question, like, how many kids they got, that's all. Okay, all right. So you do, know. all right, now, ladies, do you guys have a question for Mary Cedric? Hold your mouth, right now. Mm -hmm. So we can go ahead and. French fried taters. Uh, just a simple question. You say you're. In sports, right? So, yes. Okay. What Shoes. kind of sport is it? Football, basketball? Basketball. 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 Yeah, mostly. You travel a lot? Uh, yes, I travel a lot. I do. Okay. Is that concerning? <laughs> Should that be concerning? No. Traveling? No, he don't get no hoes, man. Okay. That's not a concern. Nothing. It's just very basic questions. Okay. That's all. <laughs> all right, ladies. Any question from y'all? Yeah. Okay. Let's go right down here. Where like do you currently live? Scary. I live downtown. Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you asked that, I'm guessing, because of traveling? Yes. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I live downtown Phoenix. Yes. Okay. All right. So I guess I'll go ahead and ask the ladies a question for you. All right. So, ladies, what would you say is your best characteristic? Ooh, best characteristic? <sighs> I don't know. Probably because I'm just really. I'm really sweet. I, I'm very open-minded to a lot of stuff. That doesn't mean I take no crap. Sales, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. But I think just because I'm generally caring of people's thoughts and processes. Yeah. Uh -huh. My charisma. Mm -hmm. I feel like people gravitate towards me naturally. You got a good smile. That's more his speed, <laughs> you know. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to I have use to it. say my empathy. I've been through a lot, the, so I'm um, very understanding. Spider-looking bitch. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
All right, Cedric, so based off those those responses that we got, I'm going to go ahead and have you pop one of the ladies' balloons. If I can see your toothpick. Thank you. I'm going to hand that over to you. Spider Monk. Yeah, so you're going to go ahead and pop one of the ladies' balloons based off of the answers that you've heard so far. So which one out of the three are you feeling the least? <laughs> Come on, nigga. Anytime you're ready. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to choose wisely. Okay, yeah. They're good options. I don't blame you. Or if you have... No, actually, I'm going to make you pop. We'll have an answer once you pop. We'll have, have you ask a question once you pop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> Digger. Oh Come on, Cedric. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pop her. All right, so why'd you end up popping hers? Nah, she look good. It just, you know. She look happy looks. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> now she popping. So. Yeah. She oh. hey, man, now they pop. But, respect. But, now she look good, you know. It's just out of them two. They were more of your, more of your type? More of my type, oh. exactly. <laughs> if, if that makes sense, you know. <laughs> All right, why did we end up popping? The, the I don't feel like working. he can carry a conversation. It's always respect. She looks good. Please give me more. I want to talk to you and get to know you as a person. Your eyebrows are crazy. And I feel like you're a little bit <laughs> shallow, just a little bit. You won't stop staring at my boobs, for one. I ain't even staring at your boobs. I'm staring at your face. I'm looking okay, at you. Okay, but I've seen you go like this a couple of times. More than I once, mean, more I'm than once, at, more than once. Okay, I'm at everything that's a little around. shallow for me, sweetie. Respect. I, I mean, you was gonna get chose, bitch. Respect. respect. Okay. You know? Please. Move on. Thank you. Okay. All right, Ashley, why did we end up popping? Um, I ended up popping one, like the responses. I did want to hear a little bit more to kind of get my brain going and what to kind of feed off of, but it just wasn't anything for me to kind of gravitate to, so that's why. Okay. Oh, all right, Damn. Cedric, that's all the balloons he popped. Like that. Oh. Like, nah. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. Thank all you. right, ladies, let's give you it up for him. You somebody, um, Chris right. Respect. Respect. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Let's see this nigga. Oh. Right on over here. Okay. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Welcome in. What's your name? Brandon, I go by B. Be right. more handsome is my IG. Oh my okay, B. Yes, How old are you? I'm 29. I just turned 29 a couple of days ago. Okay. okay I see them and feet. now, what do you do? I nigga looking at bitches' um, toes. I'm a food aggregate. Um, I sell food to local restaurants and residents. Mm -hmm. I do a little bit of real estate. Um, I travel. And I invest. Okay. Shit, it's very simple. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And now, what do you look for in a woman? Um, I definitely look at their toes. Um, I look for their vision. I look for their support system. What does that look like in real time? I also look at what, the fuck he what got are you looking with, for in a, a man? Skunk? Are you looking for the superficial? Are you looking for the real? Are you looking for a check? He, he, he got a cloak. The husband. I mean, those things all matter. So, yeah, I want to hear what you got to say in real time. And then, oh, this nigga gonna be a of course, I can nigga. adjust or either conform. Okay. All right, cool. Okay, so we did get a pop balloon. Let's go ahead and go on over there and see what's Which going one on. Pop? Come on over here. Let's go see. <laughs> All right, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Sincera. I'm 27. And I just feel like we just wouldn't match as far as energy. I feel like you have a foot fetish a little bit. Um, and that's okay, you know. My feet aren't going to be perfect, though. I do have, you know. Your feet is cute. You're oh, good. thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're oh, so nice. Course. And you popped it because you thought your feet weren't bad. You're good, baby. Well, you just only wanted to talk about feet. It's the red flag for what? me. Yeah, oh, just a little okay. bit. Hey, <laughs> I think that if your shoes and your feet look good, then your, you know, your mindset can kind of correlate. So I respect it. I appreciate it. Who's Cooper? My dog. Okay, Cooper. Well, shit. Maybe I need to arf. Maybe I need to do <laughs> Yeah, maybe I need to arf a little bit. Shit, fuck with me. But yeah, I, I respect it. Appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah. He did that thing too. Yeah. All right. Now, is she your type? My dog. Um, I think that I don't necessarily have a type. I okay. think I'm more into the mental and the mentality. So good the fact that you can good express answer. yourself, yeah. I fuck with it. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. 
All right, so we do still have some unpopped balloons. Did you have a question like? to ask the ladies to go ahead and help you narrow it down? Um, as far as the ladies in real time, like, um, so, so my question is two year plan as opposed to five years. If you could see yourself with a man in two years, what does that really look like? What do you want from Eric Benito, what do you Benito, Benito for? Ass nigga. All right, let's start right here. Your name, age, and the answer to his question. What's the name? My name is Sakari, Lisa and Bonet. I'm 30. And in two years, socks? like, dating a man, I would expect some sort of um, commitment because it's been two years. Um, so hey, them jeans, um, shorts, definitely um, outfit things she got on just wet. seriousness. Um, moving Genuine. toward marriage and her boot uh, in the boots, growing with it. families, Stupid. and businesses, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. How old are you? I'm 30. I like your style. Are you serious too? You're genuine, very genuine. Oh, okay. let's go to the next lady. Your name, age, and the answer to his question. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm 29, and I would say two years regarding a relationship because I'm really big on building my brand and my business right now. I model and. Um, definitely someone that is okay with being a partner individually and with myself. So if hey, we're on this business run together, that's what it is. You know, also just having that relationship with God too. Mm. So I also look for us to have that connection, mm. have our peace, and we can kind of separate from the rest of the world and just be with just ourselves. Oh, that's cute. That's so. what's up. What's up? <laughs> yeah, that's really he's cool. Okay. If we can have your name, age, and the answer to his question. My name is Lee. I'm 28. And within two years, I definitely want to be married. I kind of know what I want. Um, I know a man wants to, knows if he wants to marry you within six months, to be honest. And I'm a firm believer on that. Um, so within two years, definitely, I'm looking for a proposal Her at least. Ashy. Um Or she ain't got the glow I'm, like I'm pretty firm on it. Where you from? Cali. What part? I live in Victorville. Mm, you ever been in a gang? In a what? Gang. No. Oh, okay. Just had to you add. You know if you got fucked ain't sweet. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know if you got All right. In the gang. If we can have your name, age, and the answer to this question. Angel23, can you repeat your question, please? Um, nah. As opposed to a five-year plan, I'm thinking about a two-year plan. What are you looking for? What do you see? And then as far as the man that you're looking to court or to have court you, what do you want out of him? What are you looking for? A serious relationship. What um, does serious mean? As, me in we're, as in we're building towards a marriage. I don't want to just be dating just to date. I want to build a foundation, a family. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. How many kids you got? I don't have kids. How old are you? I'm 23. You want kids? Yes, I do. You 23? What's your name? Angel. Angel. You look like Where a devil. Georgia. Okay. Yeah, no, I love it. I appreciate it. I can accept it for sure. <laughs> right. Let's do it. Okay, your name, age, and the answer to his question. My name's Alexis. I'm 29. And I would um, expect to be, say we started dating at this point, um, I'd expect at least an engagement. like. To be honest, at this point, years. meaning I within two years, you're saying within two years, you, mm -hmm. two years, you like expect that. to be engaged. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Hypothetically, and you guys all get a chance to think about this. In two years, within that two years, what do you hypothetically expect to bring to the table? To the table, not a table, but the. You got a man. He's decent. He making a little bread. He not down on his luck. Mm -hmm. You're also meeting him in the middle. What do you expect to bring to the table within two years? If anything at all, and if it's nothing, then that's okay. Yes, so I believe I am the table, so. Hey, bitches do that same whack ass ass. Short and sweet, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, nigga. I am the table. Hey, no, there's nothing else that I can say. I appreciate you guys. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you, ladies. I hate that answer. So you wanted to ask that question to the rest of the ladies or? Uh, I mean, I gave uh, kind of a table for thought for folks to chew on. If they have a response, absolutely. Let's take them. Yeah, because I'm not in this for response? nothing okay. else but the answers and the responsibility of it, which is, who are you in real time? <laughs> so, um... 
Everybody got to bring something to the table, right? So I definitely yeah. bring food. Maybe I bring you food make the table. to the table. Maybe no. you make the table. I bring food to right? the table. Okay. You cook. Okay. Shit. Yeah. yeah. No, it's Shit. it's it's deeper than cooking. <laughs> it's it's nutrition. So I'm I'm big oh, on nah. what I'm cooking and preparing I need for salt my and gravy on my food, yeah. bitch. Love it. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. So based off of those responses you heard, if I can have someone's toothpick. I'm going to pass this on over to you. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's switched on over to you. Out of what you've heard so far, I'm going to have you pop two balloons boots you got on. of the ones who you weren't really like feeling Mojo, all Jojo that boots. much. Like Mojo Jojo Two balloons. Kind of yours. Kind of <laughs> I got to pop two. Got to pop two. Oh. You pop Mojo <laughs> Jojo boots. You popped yours already, baby. So. Mojo Jojo. I ain't never been in this position before. <laughs> Um, I know it's tough, right? <laughs> let's do. Fuck, I don't like y'all. This is not cool. <laughs> I, I gotta choose. You gotta choose. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Can I ask a question? All right. No go question. for it. Go for it. Ask a question. <laughs> hey, I think I'm playing. What is cognitive dissonance? Cognitive dissonance. What does that mean to you? Cognitive dissonance. What does that mean to you? Man. Okay, Fred. Time to find our perfect apartment on Zillow. Don't worry. Zillow. Change will be good. This nigga dumb. Right here. Come I don't know what that um, means. Is it like a disassociation with like a mental... Close enough. Go ahead. <laughs> Being fully aware of what's happening. Perfect. Go ahead. Me. Don't cheat. <laughs> yeah. Don't cheat. Because she... Yeah. I do this. Go ahead. I think it's a part of being mentally stable and also being mentally aware of where you're at and where people around you are at. No. And so in real time, if you're dealing with a man who's experiencing cognitive dissonance, what would you do to respond? Um, honestly, I feel like black men have it the worst when it comes to mental health. Um, so right. I'm very aware with mm -mm. the way I treat black men for that reason. So I would respond very you gotta pimple on your face, I feel like. Bitch. Good Based question. off my experience. Yep. You can answer too, even though you popped your balloon if you want to. It's fine. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, shit, I need to figure it out. Shit, go ahead. <laughs> you got to pop me in because I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <Go> ahead. <laughs> my fault. Yes. Are you asking what the definition of cognitive is? I'm asking business? what does it mean to you? Because maybe you it have, like, for instance, love. You might say one thing, I might say another. We don't agree. Right. So I'm not saying, say what I say. I'm saying, what does it mean to you? Cognitive dissonance is when you um, say something and you act a completely different way. So when they're not aligning. Okay, so I pop one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you cut these hoes <laughs> off, boy. Okay. You gonna pop one more? All pretty as hell. Don't yes. take me wrong for this. But I don't know y'all for shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, fuck with that. I like her. Yeah. I fuck with her. She okay. <laughs> if he ain't choosing me, nah, hey, if he ain't choosing me, I don't want him. I can fuck with a chick like that. I let can me, fuck with let that. Let me come over here. I can fuck with that. Why'd you end up popping? But I ain't never point to you, so I'm kind of like disappointed. Your outfit was cute as fuck, but go ahead. Hey. You go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. The whole, like, yeah. all of that was just a too Y'all beautiful. I don't know y'all for shit. Yeah, I don't know y'all for shit. Y'all pretty as hell. I'm just being real. Yeah, but you've asked the most questions, honestly, and I feel like you had a little bit more of time to kind of figure it out. That's dope. I went last. Okay. Yeah, I'm no, I'm not, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying that was my situation. That's all. Yeah, I was he really like yourself. liking you, like your mm -hmm. look. The whole look is so dope. I like Thank the you. whole boho, like natural thing. Work super hard on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dope. But it, it was just, yeah, the. That's, oh, that's the look. Yeah, yeah, super indecisive. That could do it. Yeah. I done turned a lot of people down based on that. Mm -hmm. All right. So then I guess I'll go ahead and ask these ladies a question. Hmm. Let's see here. Okay. I'll go ahead and ask them. So ladies, what are some of the characteristics you look for in a partner? That's funny because that's what I was going to ask if I had a question. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely someone that is able to comprehend. I feel like listening is one thing, but understanding what's coming out of my mouth is another. Um, Do you understand also words just coming out of my mouth? Come on, bitch. I'm very artsy, very 
So I'm getting bored if with this shit, man. If you are trying to find me, I'm either asleep or working on something. So <laughs> definitely just having an understanding. Sometimes my I'm space is my just face. what it is, and it's I'm just to express myself. But other than that, face. got you. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, I'm looking for somebody to lead me correctly. I've been led down so many different wrong paths oh, so with men, and bitch. I'm tired. Okay. Just like you're tired. You you been led before, I want to be, be led, led again. to greatness. Like okay. I want somebody that's gonna have multiple businesses and and me be a part of those businesses. I, I don't want you to do it alone. I want to be a part of it. Yeah. I want you to you venture off into what I'm doing as well and be a part of that as well. Um, you know, I want to build a foundation, like a very strong foundation that way. So when we're at the top and things go wrong, we have that strong foundation to like build off of. Do you want to base it off of money or love? Love. I have my own money. Mm-hmm. Hey, it was a trick question. I was just, I just <laughs> want to see what she was thinking. I love it. I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And now, uh, the question was she what characteristics what do you look for in a man? Uh, respectful, loving, and you don't you undecisive you open open-minded or open-hearted or what do you look both for? Yeah, all of it sure. they're not sure get me now you ask for open-minded mm-hmm. open-hearted i mean you do coke random bitch. question mm-hmm. you do coke. it doesn't have to go to everybody but it's very specific um what does that look like for you and a person who might have a kid already yeah, I got a son. He's five years old. He's good, but he's bad. <laughs> I'm just being real. However, I'm teaching him to build and groom himself around people. Yeah. So how does that look for someone who doesn't have any kids? Oh, I have kids. Oh, you got a kids? new kid. Yeah. Uh, Again, I... everybody. Go ahead. Right. Uh, I love kids. I'm actually, um, I'm very nurturing. I love being a mother. I have two sons myself. Age? Six and two. Okay. So for yourself, life insurance policy, you and your kids, tell me about that. I do not at this time. Okay. And would you have a reason for why not? Um, Be real. You know, hey. I just haven't set it up yet. It's, it's just one of those things, huh? Mm-hmm. Got you. Okay. Um, based on what I've seen, I'm going to go ahead and pop this balloon. Okay. All right. Let's move on over here. All right, ladies. There are two of you left. Any final questions to go ahead and determine if this is going to be a yes for you? All right. Uh, what type of father are you? Are you very involved? Are you not so involved? Are you co- how, what kind of co-parent are you? Awesome question. Um, I'm one of the fathers who will like do the absolute most and still get the absolute least from their partner. But still hanging Man. in because I ain't got shit else. I ain't had no family growing up. I ain't necessarily had the things that I wanted to have growing up. So for my son, that, which is what I have, he's five years old, I feel like that's the only thing that I can give him besides a life insurance policy, mm-hmm. for yeah. example, which is why I asked that question. Okay. So you going to pick a bitch or not, my nigga? <clears throat> my question's for the children as well. I know this. I need to be able to show that to the next generation. You're boring and me, bro. Time to make your final decision. You've oh, only pick. got two ladies left. Who are we picking out of these two Wait, beautiful ladies? You do. You gotta pick. <laughs> and they haven't haven't. <laughs> you gotta pick. You got two beautiful ladies here. Who are you going to pick? You gotta pick the soul sister. So my, my last decision I'm gonna go ahead and make is we're gonna pop this balloon. And then if you will have me, I'll take you on a date. All right, come on out here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll have to come here. All right. So, okay. is it going to be a yes for you? Hey, for you him? Lost bitch. She looking? Um, I have one question. Okay. Where do you currently reside? I have a house on the south side of Phoenix. I have an apartment on 16th and Bethany Home. I do a little bit of real estate, so I have a few places to stay. Now, and you living in California is not a problem for you? No, I actually plan to do some work in California over the next year to two and a half years. I have a place in Cali that I could reside, so we could kick it whenever you wanted to, honestly. Yeah, damn. So, is that going to be a yes for you for him? Yeah. All right. Is it a yeah. yes for you for her? Yes. Hey, we got a match. Got a match. Yeah. All right, I'll go ahead and take that mic, and you guys can go on up. <laughs> Let's give it up for them. <laughs> it's episode seven of these motherfuckers, man. Um, it's kind of boring at the end of the shit to me, man. I lost interest in this shit 
Um, I don't know, man. I just like roasting the people or talking about people, man. That's what I do. I like talking about people. Anyway, man, we're going to do this shit again, man. Episode 8 is next, man. That's what I'm going to do. Um, we look like episode 8 is damn near two hours. Woo! Yeah. Until next time, man, we're going to be doing this shit again. I'm going to break number, um, episode 8 down to two parts. But, yo, they, they found love, man. I love this shit right here, man. Um, It's a new little concept. I'm reviewing this shit. It's pretty dope. This shit almost took me out, man. I ain't going to front, man. I'm kind of sleepy. Anyway, holla at your boy. I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and fuck with your boy. Heist man the folk. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. This is a dangerous group, the groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.